the background design actually mirrors the one for the first book. Yeah. If you look at the cover, and it, it's it's kind of a abstract version of a brain, you know, which is where we are because of the fact there's a convergence going on between the uh, study of scientific study of how brains work, but also uh, now creating AI. And that's an engineering problem. Are now using the same mathematical framework, and so this is uh, it's a great opportunity for. Uh, exchange of ideas, uh, concepts, uh, and and you know now we have these uh, chat GPT and other large language models, which you know we don't understand uh, mm -hmm. how they are able to uh, accomplish all the different things that we ask them to do. The book is sort of a interesting, uh, almost like a collaboration with AI, you know, which is something that we we tell our students not to do. But but you kind of envision and and in, interact with ChatGPT throughout the book. So t tell us about that. What 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 led you to choose that sort of format? So as I was going through and writing the book, what I realized is that uh, you know people learn with concrete examples. I mean, and also with uh, the uh, things that they may have heard about. And and, and I wanted to actually give these concrete examples in the form of, of a dialogue that I had. 